attempting to learn the location of the secret laboratory, Billy gets into a packing case which is to be taken there by truck. Zorn learns of this and now plans a trap for the unsuspecting Billy. As the truck reaches the edge of a swamp... Open that big case, Haynes. They're opening the packing case. They must know Billy's in it. All right, you, get out of there. landing in time. You Milani's natives certainly saved the day for us. Someone knew you were hidden in that packing case, Billy. We're dealing with clever enemies. This island's full of enemies, Jack. Well, we've accounted for one. All we can do now is chase after the others. I'm afraid they've got too much of a start, but it's worth a try. We were doing our best to pick them off when something happened. We had all we could do to get into the truck and escape with our lives. Go on, Blair. What happened? Then we were attacked by Yuman and about a hundred of his natives. A hundred natives? Are you sure? Yeah, all of that. They came swarming at us like hornets. Then the situation is more serious than I thought. Too many natives joining you, Miller. We're going to lose our hold on the natives unless we act fast. Well, you say the word and we'll wipe out Yumla and all of his tribesmen. Yeah, in the same manner that you eliminated Jack Armstrong and the Fairfields, I suppose. Never mind, Marlon. What else can we do? Keep ourselves in the clear by enlisting Naga's aid. I wouldn't trust that tribal leader any farther than I could throw a ship's anchor. Perhaps not. But Naga's valuable. He's been blinded by my promises of great personal power. Naga's got a lot of followers and they'll do as he orders. Suppose they refuse. We have one great friend on this island. Superstition. These savages will be very quick to obey when they hear the voice of their ancient god, Exalta.
Exalter. Thy people pray to hear you speak. Speak, Exalter. I, your God, Exalter, have watched with displeasure the presence of four unfriendly whites on your sacred island. I have seen them invade your village, your homes, murder your people, and divide your tribe into embittered, warring factions. These trespassers are disciples of death. They seek to destroy you and then steal your lands and wealth for themselves. I, Exalta, command you to act. Exalta has spoken. does this ceremony take place? I gave no orders. No, Princess Allura. The authority comes from a greater power. Exalta has spoken. Exalta? And what would appease his wrath this time? The death of the four white strangers who have invaded this island. No, you must not harm them, Naga. They came here as friends to seek one who is missing. Their evil tongues hide the truth. They are enemies and must die. Exalta has willed it. Exalta is wrong. I forbid you to carry out this unjust command. Do you dare scorn the wishes of our immortal god, Exalta? I dare to question the identity of the voice calling itself our god. It is strange that Exalta has been stilled for many generations, suddenly speaks again and again like someone unknown to us, mocking the true Exalta. Here your princess defile the name of Exalta. The white demons have poisoned her thoughts. You cannot believe this, my people. It is untrue. You are a traitor. You have violated the sanctity of this sacred grotto. In the name of Exalta, I condemn you to a traitor's death. Seize her. Remove her. Before the execution, we must have one other to die with the princess. Who, Naga? Yomala. He has also defied Exalta by aiding the white demons. Yomala must die with Alora. But his tribesmen are loyal. They'll never give him up to you. Then we must use cunning. Songwe can be trusted. You will go secretly to Yomala's camp and bring back the traitor. It will be done. Do not fail. Then you will have your reward. to me like a wild goose chase. Yes, I was afraid we'd never be able to locate that truck. We should have seen some sign of it, Uncle Jim. I wonder what they did with it. They probably had it concealed in some secret place. Well, we better get back to camp. Betty will be wondering what happened to us. Those drums mean? They usually mean the natives are up to no good.
those drums and Yumala's disappearance may be tied up together. By following the sound of those relayed messages, we may be able to locate where Yumala is being taken. Well, we can't all go. We'd be spotted too easily. I'll take over the job. Wait, Jack. We'll draw lots from numbered slips of paper. The high man gets the job. There's paper in the hut, Uncle Jim. Here it is, Uncle Jim. Why, he's gone. But where? He wouldn't start off by himself, would he? I'm afraid he would, Betty. We'll have to try to follow him. You stay here. But why can't I go along? Jack may come back, and one of us should be here. Oh, all right, Uncle Jim. struggles are hopeless. At the setting sun, you will be taken to the place of execution. sacrifice is near. The sun will soon be down. Get on your way to your camp, Yumla. We'll catch up with you. You shouldn't come here. They intend to kill you. Go quickly. Yeah, we'll both go. White demon whom great god Exalta has delivered to us. You will die too with Alura. Oh my Tatawa! Ah! It's Yumla! 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 Jack went to the village to find you. Have you seen him? Yeah, he saved me. I go for help. Where is he? At the village. Free princess. Well, let's go. Exalta is a kind god. Has no wish to end life too quickly. 
he permits you to enjoy slow death. So, Mac. Zelta will be avenged. What treacherous game is Gregory Pierce playing now? What is this fearful new weapon that's being brought into action by the conspirators? Next week in this theater, see the plot unfold further in Battle of the Warriors, Chapter 10 of Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy.